Hey guys, I'm Chad with Take One Film and Video here in Nashville, Tennessee, and thanks for joining us back. I've got Bryson with us today. Bryson's one of our engineers. How's it going, Bryson? Good. How are you doing, Chad? All right. Well, uh, so Take One, we're kind of known for building studios, yeah. right? And we build studios and churches and TV stations. Mm -hmm. All over the place. College, yeah, college campuses. But sometimes you need to take the studio on the road, mm -hmm. right? You got to put it in a truck. Yep. And haul it around. So we have fly pack systems, and this is. This is a, a really cool system that uh, Bryson's working on right now. Love it's, this system. Yeah, it, it's you're finishing up. It's still a little bit in construction mode here, yeah. but man, uh, this one is is pretty cool. And as opposed to a lot of these systems that we build in studios where you have lots of space, mm -hmm. you have lots of furniture and things are spread out. It's really easy. Mm -hmm. Not so much. No space on this one. You got to take it everywhere. Yeah. So all that stuff still has to fit in a pretty tight corner. So mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is just I'd love to just kind of walk around and and you can tell me a little bit about. Um, about what we've got here. So let's kind of start with just the whole system. Tell me, tell us about uh, this system in particular. Yeah, sure. The backbone of the system is the Ultrix 2RU router, 64 by 64. And under that, the Ultra Carbonite switcher frame. Okay. And the open gear terminal frame at the bottom, all of the DAs, instead of having the throw down DAs, just a nice frame, keep it all compact. Absolutely. Okay. And um, so over here, you know, the uh, this is kind of the engineering station, yeah. right? Um, tell us about the computer, because I know everything now is pretty much IP controlled. Yes. I mean, you know, either GUI or software. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming this is where everything is sort of, this is master yeah, control. Yeah, everything system. hooks up to the network switch, which the engineering PC talks to. Everything talks over dashboard, all the ROS gear. And then the AGA, the Keeper Ultra Plus, talks on a web GUI. And it's all controlled right over here. the computer. And it's really cool because uh, we have a router, so uh, so the engineer can actually punch through whatever he wants to see here. He's got yeah. his own waveform vector. Make sure everything is checked out okay. Quality control. Uh, he can. He's running the uh, intercom and the little yep. matrix here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, it's really cool. Now, uh, one thing that sometimes we get questioned about, they say, uh, oh, why, why don't we have patch base? Because <laughs> isn't that kind of old school? Because routers now, it's all digital. We, what do we need patch base for? Well, yeah. It's, <laughs> You know, as great as everything you put in here, sometimes mm -hmm. things just happen. You get a power surge, mm -hmm. sometimes equipment, I mean, let's face it, sometimes they sometimes do Sometimes it does fail. And anything in production, at least in my history, mm -hmm. like the show has to go on. Yep. So the patch bay has always been cheap insurance mm -hmm. to make sure that, hey, look, if one of these components fail, yeah. and a few patch cords, we can get around it and still make the show. Still make the show happen. Yeah. And yeah. so it's something that we do in all of our systems. And, mm -hmm. and that's something that we're really big on, even though it takes up a little space here. Mm -hmm. You want to Never use it yeah. until you need it. And absolutely you'll worth have it. it. Absolutely worth it. So let's move on down here. Rack number two is a little bit smaller. Sure. And I'm a little bit familiar with this. Um, this looks like video land. Yeah, video, video yeah. world. We have the Sony CCUs down under. It's all optical con on the back. And we have a nice sliding shelf for the RCPs for the operator. And, and same thing, he's got his own router control here, yeah. so he can punch up whatever cameras he wants to look at has his vector uh, and waveform and intercom. Mm -hmm. So kind of everything he needs. And uh, this one obviously is built for four camera system, but they're not, th th this particular customer just wanted three right now, yeah. right? And we have a space here that will be a, you know, a comedy of fourth one down the road. Now I know this customer in particular wanted something that was gonna be um, flexible, a flexible mm -hmm. system. And, and uh, they wanna be able to, to you know take it on the road, do rock and roll, yeah. they wanna set it up in a church and do church services or do a mm -hmm. corporate event. And it can do all that. And one of the cool things is that uh, the, so the cameras they picked were the Sony FB80s. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing I like about the FB80s is that you can do all of the different stuff. You, know, you can do yeah. you know, 1080, you can do 1080p, you can do 30p, 24, mm -hmm. and there's even options for kind of an upscale to, uh, 4K and HDR. I don't mm -hmm. think they can do them both, but you, you, basically if you have a client that says, hey look, I want 1080p HDR, yep. Just flip a switch, yeah, and you can do it. So that was a, a really cool thing. So this is this is kind of video only. And another thing too is kind of cool, is that this particular video rack, since it's by itself, yeah. And then you have production over here, which we're going to talk to you about in a second. You can kind of configure them any way you want. Any way you want. So it's not like one big massive rack, and everybody's mm -hmm. got to squeeze up together, right? It's always flexible. Move it wherever you want. However, the space you have, you yeah. can make it fit. It's awesome. So give us a tour here. Um, yeah, this is our yeah. production rack. We have the switcher tub up top. Everything always has a UPS. He has four channels with ClearCom PL, and then a roller just to hear a confidence of the program audio. That's really cool. Yeah. And, and the multi-viewers are built here into yep. the lid, so there's no like plugging up monitors nope. or anything. Just open the lid. You open the lid, 
This pulls out, which is, which is really cool. We'll yeah. kind of show how all of this fits together. But you've got a 2ME mm -hmm. Ross Carbonite Black panel uh, coupled with, and this is the, we talked about this a second ago, this is the Ross Ultra frame. Mm -hmm. But um, they have 2ME's and you can buy additional licenses and you can yep. actually scale this even bigger oh, yeah. if you want to do that. So a very powerful switcher that would be able to give you lots of flexibility. So very cool. I love how all this kind of like kind of morphs together, but really there's no yeah. assembly. Yeah. Just open the lids, pull it out, and you're, it's ready, you're ready, to, ready to go. It's ready to rock. So you gotta tie all this together. So the hmm. fun part, I know you know, is oh, on the yeah. back side. That's all where a lot the, of the time all is the been. Interconnects on the Let's back. go check it out. Yeah. We use red for intercom, because intercom has voltage. We don't want to plug that into the wrong spigot and blow something up. And we have time code in case they ever want to put a global clock out here and network, connect everything together, and then their video sources. And we color coordinated on all the labels. And then each cable is labeled as well. And that's a big deal because yeah. even though some of the stuff, I mean, that obviously comes off when yeah. you pack it up, but just knowing where things go in case you had to change or do something yeah. is, is really important. And, and as you see in you know, the tight shots on these, everything is labeled mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of time and a lot of, oh, yeah. you know, a lot of effort, uh, which is where you have done an incredible job. So. Uh, let's move on back. So we, that one's pretty simple. Now we start getting a little more components here. So this yes. is the video rack. Video rack. We got a little bit more uh, going on here. So yeah. So up top we have all of the optical con for each camera, and then we have tallies, which come from our switcher frame over an engineering network, and then our intercom PL. Then we also have a locking power for the rack. It's not going to so just can't, fall out. Yeah. Won't we'll trip over it that easily. Yeah. <laughs> then we have our CCU outputs, our uh, return inputs. Yeah sync for everything in this rack and then waveforms for our video engineer and again the color coding sync always is green yes. and then he's red so i mean that, that really gets your attention like oh man i, I don't need to plug this yes. into an audio channel because not not good so and of course everything's loomed here so mm -hmm. you pull it off it all stays nice all stays nice, nice and together tight. rolls up really cool yeah all right now this is the this is the part that impresses me the most oh yeah yeah so i i um everything kind of comes into the router and the switcher yes so there's a lot of cables in there Lots a of lot cables. of cables and um, but they're dressed really cool. And the cool thing is, if you ever had to get in there and find something, mm -hmm. you actually can. Yeah. I mean, despite the fact that how many cables do you even I think there's 650 <laughs> roundabout in, in this rack alone, 650 in this rack alone. Yeah. And I can sit here and just as I'm standing here, I almost see every label in there and can get to whatever I need. Yep. That's really impressive. And it helps um, a lot when going to troubleshoot a system. And hopefully you never have to get back yeah. in there. But That's if you do just as a yeah, it's you're good to go. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the other part of the flexibility of this is just the I.O. where you can interface with maybe, mm -hmm. you know, a, a television truck or maybe yep. uh, sometimes people bring in multi-tracking yeah. um, or, um, you know, uh, maybe into a building that has an existing A.V. system and you mm -hmm. want to expand and use some of their resources. Yeah. Right here, all the A.V. stuff comes in. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have tie points to our graphics. Uh, they can go to a laptop with time code if they ever need to go out anywhere. We also have 16 router outputs and router inputs just for anything. They're just free. Just, just for whatever to, you need. Whatever you time. need, yeah. yeah. And then each panel would go to video rack and then to our production rack. And at the bottom, we have a front of house rack, which is would be fiber to spit Maddie over to our front of house. Yeah, and let's talk about Maddie real quick yeah. because one cool thing about the Alteryx is mm -hmm. the audio mapping. It's and great. Something we haven't had before. Routing, you typically will bring in signals. If it's got a embedded audio, you can deal with that. But yeah. This actually takes all the MATIC signals and you can take all the uh, all that audio mm -hmm. and you can embed it wherever you want. Embedded. You yeah. can take a signal and grab mm -hmm. some of those channels and just embed yeah. whatever, wherever, right? Yep. That's very cool. In this case, it's 64 in, 64 out. So however you need to do, it's it's there. That's an incredible amount of flexibility. And yeah. of course, everything here, some utility drawers. I mean, mm -hmm. we've made really good use of just the space that we have here absolutely. to be able to put everything you in there. To. Spare case, absolutely. Yeah. It's it's all about efficiency. Mm -hmm. But you, this is a, a really cool project. You've done an incredible job. Thank you. And if you guys have any other questions about uh, a, a fly packs, studio builds, or anything, or want to know more about Take One Film and Video and and how we uh, do these, let us show you how we can build a fly pack that's specific for your needs. Give us a call at one eight seven seven eighty one Take One or send us an email at mail at takeone.tv. But be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and Bryson, thanks man. Thanks Chad. A lot of fun. Yeah. Let's do a few more of these, what do sure. you think? Awesome.